Hi everybody, we're back and we're going to be working on page 7 of our book. And you're going to be using the 8x8 pocket piece page uh, that does not have the notch in it for this page. Um, okay, so you're going to have a couple of mats we're going to be doing. Uh, I cut mine out of black with um, white paper. And just to get the simple stuff done first, I'm just going to glue these white mats onto the black. I'm just going to get some glue around here. This is a quick photo mat. And I like this book because you can put some larger photos on it. I always like to do larger pictures. Um, because someday I'm not going to be able to see so well, and I want to be able to see my pictures nice and close. 4 by 6s are nice, but bigger ones are better. At least that's what I say. Okay, so you're just going to quickly glue two photo mats together. Real easy. I'm just going to put those aside. Then, you're going to have uh, two pieces that look like this and they're going to have score marks on the end so you're just going to fold those on the score marks. We're just going to get stuff ready here. So again, this is the second piece. I'm just going to fold that. Okay, on the score mark. You're going to have two pieces that look like this with score marks on the side. I'm just going to put those aside for a minute. You're also going to have two matte pieces like this and those are going to go on both sides of this tab. This has a score mark on the side, so I'm just going to put those together for the moment. You're going to have two smaller pieces with three score lines, and we're just going to fold those. Those are going to be some smaller pockets. I'm just going to get those both folded. going to have a piece that's going to go on our background of our 8x8 and that's just going to sit like that and actually while we have that we might as well get that glued down centering it. Okay, so put that aside as well. Alright, so what we're going to be doing now, you're also going to have two pieces that look like this. We're just going to fold those on those score marks as well. Okay, so we have everything folded that we need. Um, let's start with these little pieces here. So you have the pieces that have the score marks on the side here, the short side of your rectangle. I'm just going to kind of fold that. And what we're going to be doing is these little pockets are going to sit on the outside of these. So I'm just going to get this folded down nicely and put some glue on the outside of these tabs. And I'm going to line this up with the end of my sheet here. So I'm just going to get that lined up. And you're going to just be a little bit on the inside of where your score mark is. And I'm just going to give that a good second to dry. And you're going to do the same thing with the second one. So I'm just going to get some glue on the outside tab here. Okay. And I'm going to get that glued down as well. Okay. I'm 
hold that for one second. So we're going to have these cute little pockets, little mini flip page here. So get that glued down. And again, you're making two sets of this page. All the pages we're doing two sets. Okay, so then the other side, I'm going to flip these over. You're just going to, you're going to have two sheets that are three and a quarter by five and a quarter so that these will fit a three by five image. Just going to get that glued down. Try to make it so that based on how you size your photos, you can just easily place them on here. So I'm just going to get these two glued down. This will be our backs to our little flip pages. Okay. And then inside our pockets, you'll have two more. I cut mine out of double sided paper so I could use it as a photo mat. Get those tucked in. And I'm just going to put this under something so that they can flatten out and stay stuck for a moment. Okay, next thing we're going to, we will work on this piece. So you're going to have the two bigger uh, background pattern papers and you're going to have this fold sheet. So what we're going to do is we're going to build on each one of these individually. So I'm going to take the first one and you're going to do this twice, uh, once for this one, once for the other one. So basically we're just going to put this smaller pocket, I'm going to lay it down like this, put some glue on the inside of these tabs. And I'm going to center my paper inside here. It's going to be a little bit smaller than your um, paper. It's not going to fit it exactly because I want it to go to the end of the page but not the end of this paper. So I'm just going to fold these down. Let that dry for a second. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the long strip that has the flaps. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up on my board against one of these lines. And I want this one to be one inch in from that. So I'm just going to get this first lined up at, the, at one of my lines. Get that nice and straight. Okay. And then what I want to do... I'm going to put this one inch past it and get it centered. Okay, so you can see that that's going to be, you want it centered vertically. So I'm just going to put some glue on the inside of these tabs and then fold these down. All right, so once that's dry, okay, we're going to put glue around the whole edge. And we're going to glue this to our page. And I'm, you're going to put the smaller pocket on the inside towards uh, where the score with line is. So I'm just going to get that kind of on there and give that a good rub. Okay, and then we're going to do the same for the other side. So I'm just going to take my little one again put some glue on the inside of these tabs. Just 
very messy. The so goose here. And I'm gonna center this one. Fold these down. And if you want to, you could add a little tape here, but I don't think it's gonna really be necessary. Okay, so then we're gonna take our long piece again. And I'm gonna set this up so that it's on a line here. And then I'm gonna put this one centered one inch in. Glue here. Okay, and hold that down for a second. Okay, so now that that's tight, I'm gonna put some glue around the outside, just like we did for the other one. Get some in the middle here too. And I'm going to uh, turn this over. And again, we're going to put the smaller pocket towards where the score mark is. And give that a good rub. Okay, and then what's going to happen is the mats that we cut are going to slip right inside here like that. So it will sit inside the pocket and inside the belly band. Okay, like that. And we're going to put the one on this side. Okay, so now we are ready to get our page put together completely. So you're going to have, let's see, where did I put my little pockets here? Hold on one sec. Okay, so let's finish putting this page together. So we're going to um, take these two and going to put some glue on the inside of these tabs here. And basically, you're just going to center these two. onto the back of our page here. So what I want to do is I just want to kind of get these lined up. And let's see, I want them to be right about like that. So let's see. All right, I'm going to give that a good rub. Make sure that it tucks in nicely. Okay. I'm going to rub that so you can see. Kind of centered here. It doesn't have to be exact. You don't have to worry about that. I just want it to look as good as it can. Okay. And then we're going to do the same with this one. So I'm just going to make sure that's folded well. Put some glue inside my tab. And so you can see this, I'm just going to get this lined up. Good rub. And that is going to be page seven. So these will fold in like that. And that will be our page. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll be back.